So I want to mention um, the yogic methods. There are three stages of dealing with the mind specifically. Dharana, dhyana, and samadhi are the three higher phases of the eight limbs of yoga. And um, contemplation is the first stage where you need to contemplate and see what's on your mind, regulate issues, uh, unresolved problems, etc. Then your mind becomes more peaceful and you can concentrate. Concentration techniques lead us into meditation. So we're going to do this as a concentration technique and I want to bring in a couple of um, facts, suggestions, how to go into this. And because of um, the world situation as it is, there um, seems to be a lot of fear which is being spread by the media and people are focusing on the wrong things. So we're going to focus on the opposite of fear is loving gratitude. So we look at our lives and contemplate what we have to be thankful for. This is called santosha in the nam, yama niyama of yoga. And it has to do with being happy with what you have, being grateful, looking at what we have as individuals. We here are all alive, we're all breathing, so we can be thankful for having the breath that we can breathe. and having some sense of gratitude for the ability to breathe and then we'll add a technique of breathing which comes from the midsection breath if you've done enough pranayama yoga and you've studied with McKinley then you probably know this but focusing right on the heart center anahata and then we do the midsection breath and feel the expansion going out to the sides and coming back in now the focus the concentration is on noticing the expansion and letting go of the expansion, the contraction as the ribs go back in. Feel this expansion. The feeling of the expansion is the essence of the energy of Anahata Chakra. This is the energy that triggers the whole autoimmune system to come to life. So let's take a few breaths in and out with the midsection and your concentration is right here in Anahata and you're feeling this expansion. So quietly let's take a few breaths see if we can focus on this. Breathing in and letting it go. Inhale, feel the expansion Once more. Now this expansion comes right from the center of Anahata. There's a nerve impulse that goes from here out to the lungs. The sensation and the feeling is of this opening, getting bigger and expanding, and then letting it go, coming back in. So feel that. Another couple of breaths, three more breaths. Now let's come back feeling gratitude for having the ability to do this. Some people are losing this ability, and this is part of the coronavirus. It takes away our ability to breathe, makes it more difficult. So let's feel that we can breathe and have a sense of gratitude that we are still breathing and send this gratitude kind of like a wave out into the world for people to breathe while they can. And the more we breathe while we can, the stronger our lungs become and these viruses cannot attack strong healthy lungs. They only hit people who have weakened lungs, weakened immune system. So let's strengthen ours 
and feel that and send waves of breathing gratitude with the sensation of expansion going outwards to everyone in the world. Okay, a few more breaths. Keep your mind on track. Let's keep our concentration here with feeling every breath. The feeling, guiding the feeling, keeping our attention on this, not allowing worry and fearful thoughts. The sensation of the moment, this expansion of anahata can overcome these other feelings. We create the feeling and we focus on it. This is what overcomes fear, worry, anxiety. Now let's bring in more gratitude. Think of Contemplate the things you have in your life that you can be thankful for. You're alive, you're not suffering today, we're feeling good, we're breathing, we here have a nice place to be, we're in the jungle, we're on a tropical island. Look at your environment and be thankful for what you have. Probably most of us have enough food to eat today. We have enough money to buy the food we have. So let's be thankful for that. We keep the breath going with this thankfulness and we keep the focus on expansion, contraction, physiologically keeping our focus and sensation right here in Anahata and expanding, contracting with every breath. As we know from the Yoga Sutras, we have modifications of the mind. The mind with its modifications interfere with concentration. So we concentrate, skip over the modifications and we concentrate on this feeling. The feeling of breathing the feeling of gratitude for the ability to breathe. In our case here, and possibly in your cases, we have fresh air to breathe. We're in the jungle. The air is clean, rich, unpolluted. So we take in more of it. A few more breaths quietly. Coming back, feel exactly how you are breathing. Expansion and letting it go.
Now we're going to add another feeling to this, which we create. And this is done with the vibration. We add the vibration of Om on the exhalation. On the inhalation, we come back to feeling the expansion. On the exhalation, we feel the frequency and the vibration of Om. This is done not necessarily in a religious way or with the Om of India, but Om is the overall frequency of all the vibrations in the universe. And by all chanting it together, we are harmonizing ourselves, our own vibration, with the vibration of the universe. And the more people, the greater the number of people we can have doing this and all chanting at the same time, we can reset the vibration of everything that's going on in the world away from fear, anxiety, worry, into one of gratitude, bliss, being in the moment, happiness for being alive and for having the ability to do this, feeling the vibration, feeling the expansion of the inhalation. So let's inhale and as we exhale, we vibrate out with the sound, the frequency of the Aum. Inhale. Oh. Inhale, feeling the expansion from Anahata. Breathing in, feel the vibration, breathing out.
This is dhyana, the concentration. Going back down to dharana, the contemplation. Contemplating that creating this positive vibration and focusing on the sensation of anahata triggers and empowers a healing force, activates anahata chakra from us and we let that radiate out to others around the world. The more people we could have doing this feeling of anahata and vibrating with the own, the more of an impact we can have on all of humanity. Changing from the fear, the worry, into a more positive attitude. Attitude is very important. In yoga we learn about mind over matter and having our mind focused on something positive is very important. We create with our mind, we can recreate the attitude, the sensations of the world by focusing on the positive. One tidbit of information, instead of thinking and concentrating on the media and the number of deaths and the spreading of the virus, we can think of the number of people who've had the virus and simply overcome it. Here on the island of Copenhagen, there has only been one case of coronavirus. It was a young woman who went to the hospital, was diagnosed and tested, and it took two days for her to overcome it, and she's better and she's fine. So this is the other positive side. Why don't we focus on this? We have an immune system that can overcome this. We empower this. We bring in the feeling of anahata, the expansion, the vibration of the Aum, which is the creative force, the vibration of the entire universe. So we can do this many times of the day. Remind yourself, if you see any fear coming up, any worry, come back to this feeling, expansion from Anahata. Vibrate it out with the Aum. We will get through this. We can change it. Everything will be okay. Another couple of breaths, another couple of ohms. with this for the moment and I'm just going to suggest that we could spread this out and do this kind of a easy meditational concentration practice daily we could even do it four times a day considering the world situation for myself and we could do this online we could bring in as many people as possible doing this kind of meditation just for a few minutes, four times a day. The times would then include people who are in different time zones. Everyone could tune into one of these times. I'm just going to suggest 12 a.m. and p.m., 6 a.m. and p.m. That's four times a day. Thank you for tuning in, and let's see if we can get more people tuning in. Just remembering the 100th monkey experiment when you get enough people doing this there's a wave of transformation and everyone around the world tunes into it and everybody gets it so let's empower ourselves our minds and humanity into a healing adventure thank you this is my oldest sister i enjoyed it and i'm um thank you so much yes Enjoyed it is a good idea. <laughs> the joy factor, the happiness and the joy is what instigates and triggers immunity. Your immune system thrives on happiness and joy and the problem with 
fear and worry is it cuts down your ability of the immune system. So keep the joy, do things that make you enjoy your life on a daily basis and kind of spread the joy, tune into it, create more of it and spread it. Stay away from the negative and the fear side of it. So enjoy. <laughs> I have to have questions, but I hope you understood the message. And again, as McKinley said, I've been doing all of this stuff for 50 years, and I see the effectiveness of it. I've dealt a lot with people with all kinds of diseases and seen the disease go away with simply breathing deep, empowering, getting away from worry and fear, and understanding more about how our immune system works and how capable it is. It's miraculous. And we should, again, have gratitude for this ability that's built right into us to overcome disease. So we do have a question about sound. Someone has some uh, issues with sound. What would you recommend for that? Issues with sound. Yeah, maybe making the own sound. Hum humming, yeah. Like I was saying, it's not a religious thing. It's, it's a scientific fact that Everything is in a state of vibration and you can just hum and you know if you've ever had children or children just express themselves when they're in pain they cry and and if you're a parent you can take your child and just hmm, rock it by baby sing something I mean you can be singing your favorite song and if it brings enjoyment you're tapping into what you need to the joy factor is really important and vibration people sing in every culture every community people sing one way or another in every religion singing and chanting is used or whatever but as humans in this day and age we all love music most of us so play some music mm -hmm. sing with your music hum along with it that is already doing something to activate and strengthen your immune system and as you strengthen yours, you're affecting and impacting other people around to be in a better state. We need to create more joy and happiness, more of the positive side of feeling sensation that is bringing us joy and overcome the fear and the worry. These are in opposition. So gratitude for everything you have, enjoy your music, that is gratitude for the music you're listening to, chanting of the Om, or if you want to use mantras of whatever. It's all good.